after 21 days of delicious discovery all around France, this is Paris, a mega gourmet city with more than 60 fresh food markets. The Maubert Market Square on the left bank has a village atmosphere with about 30 very dedicated stands and stalls selling high quality seasonal food. But my pick of the crop is a visit to the cheese shop. Laurent Dubois is one of the most admired French cheese masters. He invites me to test the brie, which is made just outside Paris. Donc là, vous avez le brie de Mour. On le reconnaît, c'est le c'est le plus grand. C'est un fromage qui est assez qui est un grand disque plat, crémeux, avec une saveur noisetée très fondante. C'est un fromage qui a qui a plusieurs semaines d'affinage et qu'on vend vraiment toujours à cœur. Il a une petite croûte qui commence à devenir un peu marron quand il s'affine. Et c'est ce qui lui confère un petit peu ce, ce goût de champignon de sous-bois mélangé au goût de crème qui est, qui est très agréable. C'est un wonderful cheese. Il y a un grand contraste de texture et de flavor. Il est crémé, il a une petite mushroomy flavor. C'est juste extraordinaire. Le, le grand moment de, de gastronomie pour moi, c'est l'association du pain, du vin et du fromage. The selection of cheese in Laurent's shop is outstanding, but what I find interesting is a great variety of small cheeses like the Rocamadour or the Saint Nicolas or the Sarment de Chèvre that you can take back to your room or have for a picnic. For the Parisians, this roast rack of lamb with spring vegetables grown around Paris is a special occasion treat. I first brushed two racks of lamb with olive oil and seasoned with black pepper and a sprinkle of freshly cut rosemary. I drop a handful of shelled broad beans in boiling water for one minute and leave them into cold water. Once cold, I pop the broad beans out of the skin. Broad beans are one of my favorite vegetables and it goes so well with lamb. I cook a few baby carrots in the same pan. After two minutes, I add half a cup of peas. Then after five minutes, I add a few fresh asparagus tips. Once all is cooked and drained, I add the cooked broad beans, a knob of butter, a little salt and pepper, and about 10 fresh tarragon leaves. I brown the racks in an oven-proof pan and roast in the oven at 150 degrees for about 10 minutes. Once the rack is cooked, I rest it, covered, for little more than five minutes. I serve the lamb cutlets over the spring vegetables and spoon the tarragon flavored juice over the meat. Voila, the Parisian speciality Carré d'agneau rôti, légumes printaniers, it's popular with everyone. Our great gourmet journey of this year route of the Tour de France is coming to an end. It has been a pleasure for me to taste some of the finest wines, to sample the delicious cheeses, to meet the great chefs and the great pâtissiers. So until next year, I say au revoir.